Hello everyone, welcome to my brand new Let's Play series of Ballroom. This is Colonel RPG and I'm very happy to have you here hanging out with me as I play this uh, dungeon crawler. It's a dungeon crawler by the fine folks of a uh, balcony team, George and Atla. It's a two-man team and they have developed this fantastic, fantastic game that I took a look at last year. They were kind enough to send me a preview. And, uh, and yeah, I ever since then, I've been very, very expected and, and looking forward to this game. And today, it released, finally, for a very cheap price. Check down the link in the description below if you want to check the game out for yourself. It's a dungeon crawler. It's, um, it's, it's got a lot of, lot of features, a lot of interesting and very, very cool things to look at and to play with. So, let's start the game because that's what we're here for. I was only a child when we fled the kingdom and took refuge in Darkwood. A lot happened in the past 20 years while we have been living here. Everyone has a part in the life of the village. We have become a real community. Now that I have grown up, it's time for me to decide what part I will play. People say the woods protect us from the filthy world that Ballroom has become. They forget that the place we live in once was a place of horrors. The dark history of the forest keeps troubles outside. The stories about why we had to hide in the woods each seem different. I don't know who to believe. Every time I ask Grandpa about the past, he changes the subject. One thing is for sure, something horrible happened. Maybe one day I will know the truth. I know that Grandpa, Grandpa was an apprentice of a wizard when he was younger, but he rarely uses magic nowadays. He often tells me that I should practice magic and embrace my supposed abilities, but I'm not sure what I want to do. I've been taking lessons in alchemy and the arcane from Brown and Leonard. In my free time, yeah, this is car character creation. Uh, basically, you can decide between farming, survival, and uh, cooking, and that will dictate what you are good at, at the beginning of the game. Basically, farming is good where you can build um, stuff to get, you know, ingredients and that sort of stuff. Camping, survival is good because, uh, well, I'm gonna go with that. But cooking is also pretty interesting because if you learn recipes, you can make yourself some. Some, uh, not potions, I don't think, but uh, cook your own recipes in, in the cauldron. Yeah, but yeah, we'll look into that later. This game has, has a lot of these features that where you just, uh, you need to explore and get recipes and get ingredients and all that. And that's very, very cool. And that's one of the many reasons why I was so looking forward to playing this game uh, when it fully released. So I'm going to go with uh, camping in the woods and that will grant me uh, survival. And each level of this skill will grant you 10% chance to cheat death. At level 3 of this skill, you are able to build a sturdy tent. And since we're going to be explorers most, yeah, for the most part, we're going to focus on archery. And uh, we are also going to focus on, brew on uh, hunting over there. So that will allow us to uh, be able to harvest more parts for the animals uh, we hunt. That I'm going to be a hunter. So down here we have the attributes. Oh, by the way... Um, but anyway, life was much easier when I was younger. Now my head is filled with questions and doubt. Yeah, there's something fishy going on in this game. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see it at the first episode, but we will later on. And uh, yeah, something fishy is going on. So we're going to focus on uh, two specific attributes. That's going to be dexterity, which will increase our to hit chance with ranged attacks. It's very, very important early on in the game. Uh, the game is very easy to... Um, you can, you can get, uh, yeah, it's, the game is very hard at the beginning, that's what I'm trying to say. It's very easy to think that it's impossible to win some battles at the beginning, and then you start, as you start to level up, it becomes a little bit easier on you, as you start to focus on what you really are good at. And we're gonna focus on hunting, as I said, and we're gonna focus on archery, so dexterity is one of the things that we need. Vitality is also something that I hold dear to me. Uh, melee, physical damage, uh, yeah, this doesn't... It increases armor, though. Hmm. I'm not gonna focus on strength. Uh, let's see, each intellect increases your total mana by 50, and wisdom increases the spell damage. Okay, so yeah, that's that's how I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll with two vitality, two wisdom, one intelligence, and that's gonna be my build. Our starting skills are gonna be carpentry, survival, archery, and hunting. Depend, Of course, all of this uh, because of this. I think carpentry is a default one. Let me... Let me check. I think so. Yeah. Carpentry and survival. No, carpentry is the default one, yeah. Uh, yeah. Carpentry is the thing that's gonna allow us to build our own home. That's right. That is right. Uh, and these are our abilities, and we are look, we're gonna look into that uh, later on. So, I'm gonna start off with, let's see, a minor healing potion, Phoenix Hag. Yeah, this th these are already ingredients that you're gonna be able to get. You're gonna be able to get them in the world, but uh, some of these are pretty, pretty, um... Pretty rare, so I'm gonna start off with, uh, I think I can leave, yeah, since I'm not gonna be kiting the enemies, I think I can just go with the money and decide later on what I wanna purchase with that. 
As for this stuff, we have the Panic Ring, which uh, when your health is low, the ring will grant you an additional 7% dodged chance. This one grants healing you for 5% of the enemy's health. Basically, it's uh, still your enemy's health, which is pretty interesting, and I might go with that. Raptor Ring, critical melee attacks, we got uh, critical spell attacks, and this ring enables you to resurrect your pet without a phoenix egg. That might be good, actually. I'm gonna go with that, rather than that one. Yeah, because we have a pet as well. Yeah, this game has a lot of features. Let's uh, let's continue. So difficulty, I'm gonna go with initiate because well, I know the game. I'm not good at it, but I know the game. So yeah, I'm gonna go with that and uh, start. Hundreds of years ago, I could not locate my brothers. Says that weird dragon over there. The mages guild has to figure out something. Destroying the remains is beyond our powers. Then, we have no other choice. We need to hide them. The remains? Huh. It's raining heavily tonight, as we walk back from the hunt with Fox. I have a strange feeling that I can see... Um, and I can see that Fox is worried, too. We separate at the edge of the forest. As I approach our home, I smell smoke and can see light shining through the wood. Something bad has happened. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and yeah, I know, I know how the game works, so I'll just jump that. I'll, I'll skip that. And here, we are in our house. Well, not our house, in Grandpa's house. And apparently it's burned down. Jax is your pet. Yes, he is a loyal. He loyally awaits your every command. When you select a pet ability for him to use, you will use the selected ability during the next turn, if all the requirements are met for the given ability. Yeah, where is Jax though? What the hell? There you are, boy. Is he over there? Yes, he is. Um, so I can call on him, I think, if I press this, I can order him to follow. And he's gonna follow me now. Uh, let me... Can I please? Thank you, Jax. You're a good guy. Hey, Grandpa, what's up? I can thank Grandpa for so much. He took me in when my parents died and brought me up. Grandpa knows a little bit about everything. A true drag jack of all trades. He once told me that someone taught him about magic a long time ago, but whenever I ask about it, he quickly changes the subject. Grandpa never told me about my parents, and he says that it's best for me not to know about them. People somehow seem distant towards him. What happened, Grandpa? Are you alright? I'm alright, son, but look at our home. The whole house nearly burnt down. Thank the gods I could stop the fire from burning up everything. You never come late when you are out hunting. This kept me going. F this kept me from going to sleep. I think we can say that you being late saved my life and our home. At least what is left of it. I would have been it would have been my last resting place. How could that happen? My boy, I have no idea how this could have happened. I put the candles out, so they could... Oh, stop raining as well. Hmm. So they couldn't have caused the fire. The fire started far away from the torch, so there is nothing else I can think of. I am old, but I can still cast a powerful freeze spell. I was barely enough... Uh, it was barely enough to stop the flames. I'm so glad you're all right, Grandpa. The house can be repaired, but I don't know what I would do without you. You're like my father. No worry, son. I'm here to stay. Enough about me. I'm, I'm fine. But our neighbors disappeared. Peck, Fien Frida, and their little girl, Audie, are missing. Their house burned down to the ground. This can't be a coincidence. People are worried that they might be next. W what can you do? I mean, we, we, when will the search for them begin? What, what does Arlo say about it? Men are already out searching for them. As for the fire, Arlo suspects it might be the torches. That's really embarrassing for Aaron, since he made them. But as I said, the fire at, ho at our home didn't start of a bad torch. What are you implying? I don't know, son, but something is really wrong. You should go and talk to Pack and Frida's neighbors, Cardew and Thurza. They might have seen or heard something. Before you go, take this. Your parents gave it to me. They told me that I should give it to you when you need protection. I think the time has come. It will take you to a place where no one can find you. Build a house there, and whenever you feel that your life's in danger, use the rune. Please, my boy, don't ask questions. Well, you won't tell me anything about my parents, fine. I will not ask questions, but I won't leave you, Grandpa. It is almost done. And if Oh, it's, it's not saying anything, I don't think. It's almost done, and even the smoke is gone. I, oh, he's saying, I'll be fine. That poor little girl, Audie. How could they just disappear? No bodies were found. I think it's best if you look into it, son. Trust me, I'll be fine. Okay, I'll be back soon. I almost forgot. When you have time, please repair the damage. 
Let's hope the worst is over and Peck's family will be found. Yes. Okay, so that's our first dialogue. This game, uh, it's basically, you're not gonna get a whole lot of choices. You're gonna get a whole lot of expo exploration and trying to figure out what you must do. But choices in dialogue and that sort of stuff, it's not really the strong suit of the game. And that's not exactly a problem. I mean, I would like to have that, but it's fine. We're gonna play a character that's uh, dictated by the game in, in, for the most part. We'll see how, how many choices we are given. But we also have a few quests. So, yeah, here's the meat I've collected, Grandpa. I was hoping for more, but this will be enough for us, and I can still give some to Edmund and Winnie. Thank you, son. Edmund and Winnie will be really happy. It's sad to see such good people in distress. Never forget to help people less fortunate than yourself, boy. Okay, so that's one quest complete. That's a little bit of experience gained as well. So, did the packs leave the woods or something? If so, they made a bad decision. The world out there is still in, ch in chaos. I doubt much has changed in the 20 years since we fled to the woods. I don't understand why would they risk their lives this way. Is the outside world really that bad, Grandpa? Long ago, undead hordes were swamping, swarming out of the unknown lands into the world of the people. The kings sent their armies against the hordes, but the power of the undead had been greatly underestimated. No one survived the battles. Without the kings' armies, chaos overcame the world. Large bandit clans formed and, starting to, and started to leave by their own rules. Soon the kings of Ballroom had fallen. It was at this time when our village and Kyler's people decided to flee into the woods for protection against the madness. As you know, son, no one dares to enter the woods because of the dark history it has. It was a hard decision, but we have lived in peace for many a year here. The woods protect us from the outside world. I fear that it's impossible to restore order in Ballroom. Men are capable of horrible things when there is no one to avenge the wrong they do. The things that I saw, my boy, I will not talk about. It's been 20 years, Grandpa. The world might have changed. We cannot know that. No one has left the woods ever since we settled here. We have a good life here. The packs haven't told anyone they were leaving. Not even a letter. That really bothers me. Yeah, you never told me the history of the woods, though. Not now, my boy. Someday I will tell you everything. Okay, so where can I buy materials? You will need nails, woods, and a decent door handle. Wood you can find everywhere, but a door handle and some sturdy nails need to be made by a blacksmith. Go to Aaron. He will sell you the things you need. Also, you could visit your carpenter's master, Jones. He might help you with the more delicate jobs. Thank you, Grandpa. I'll chop down the wood and uh, we need and visit Aaron for the goods. Okay, and that is that. We have a few quests. Let's look at our journal. So if I remember the key, that's the J key. And um, these are the quests that we have. We can... Ooh, why is that over there? Oh, because... Why is it over there? Should we... Hmm, interesting. Anyway, let's take care of that immediately. Uh, let's... Yeah, I'm gonna use the WASD keys, WASD keys to move around. Because the, the mouse cursor is not really as... Uh, you know, as easy to use, I don't think. So, hello guys, how's it going? Winnie? Winnie and Edmund celebrated their 50th, 50th anniversary a few months ago. Winnie is a great cook, but nowadays she can't even put carrot soup on the table because their pockets won't allow even the essential things in life. When I was young, they looked after me when Grandpa was away. They're like family to me. Hey, I, I, I'm back from the hunt. Here are two pieces of meat I promised to bring. Thank you, my boy. I don't know what would we do, what we would do without you. Thanks to gods for this long life they gave us. Together we are almost 180 years old, you know. Each day you grow stronger. We saw you growing up. Your grandfather raised you to a decent, honest man. What do we owe you, my boy? Well, don't be silly. You owe me nothing. Here's the meat. Salt it well. Thank you, son. The meat looks delicious. We should make a good goulash tomorrow. Yep. And we get this, whenever we do a good deed, we get a uh, buff, basically, that's how it works. So that's a, a little incentive for us to do good deeds. We can do other stuff, there's greeds and it's all the debuffs and buffs and all, all that, depending on the choices. Uh, so do you need any help? I'm glad you asked. You know what little we have? We have because of our bees. We sell the honey they make. Yes, I know. Well, all of the bees are dead. Some disease must have killed them. Can you bring us a few bees so we can start a new colony? Of course, I'll help. I'll come back with some. Uh, can you teach me a new recipe? And she can, but I don't have the rec the required cooking skill. And she uh, she needs to. She, you need to pay her as well for the recipes. That's how recipes work in this game. So let's go back there. Let's talk about. Uh, well, she has also some stuff for sale. Nothing, nothing really that I want. Uh, so Edmund, 
Edmund was a fisherman before Darkwood. He and Winnie celebrated their 50th anniversary a few months ago, and they have lived a modest life, but here in the woods, they have to do without even the essential things. When I can, I try to help them. Yes, I do. So, by what uh, I can do, you can look at their stuff, you can just stake whatever you want, they don't really mind, I don't think. Let me save the game, though, because... There we go, quick save, just in case. You can take that. Can I just click it? Oh, there's a, a short key, I think. I don't remember which one it is. It's E. Yeah, I still remember. Uh, so basically, you can take everything from, from these guys. It's the, it's fine, they like you. It's all good. And uh, some people don't, though. So some people do not enjoy you taking their stuff. Let me take what's in here. It's definitely... Oh, I'm dehydrated. Well, let's take care of that. Because um, I know where the well is. Yeah, down here, if you press C, you can... Or not down here, I am totally dehydrated. So for that, what we're going to need to do, of course, is to drink water. And I will refill the few things of water that I have, and I will be fully hydrated. You can bring that hydration up to 150, and that should last you for at least a day. Not, I don't really remember how long it lasts uh, with uh, in the normal difficulty. If you play on easy, it lasts forever. You're not going to really be bothered. Another thing that we must uh, take care for is uh, how well fed we are. So let's eat some apples here, and uh, take those. Yeah, you need, uh, you need ingredients. Uh, the only... Your inventory is gonna work like this. Basically, you can't carry any more than this slot. So its weight is totally okay, but uh, space is not. So you might want to focus on stuff that fo that uh, basically that basically uh, stacks. So you can eat and uh, bring that up to 107. And usually, as you can see, we get over here. We are re regenerating health because we are. Oh, I don't want to do that. No, that will bring my dehydration down and a bunch of other stuff as well. Yeah, you don't want to mine if... Well, unless you want to mine, you, you mine. You don't want to mine too much because... Um, because otherwise it's it's going to tire you out. Especially if you're out in the woods. You, you don't really want to waste your energy and all that. Because combat is very, very tiring. So I'm just going to look for beasts right now. Oh, over the years I became familiar with the wildlife. Frogs, rats and some of the large larvae are not aggressive. But every other animal will try to eat me. Brown told me to pick up every plant I see so I can experiment with them at the alchemy table. There are a number of berry bushes growing here. Some of the berries have powerful medicinal effects. Yes, they do. And we're going to look into that later. This is the kind of game I, I was uh, considering doing a let's play of one hour episodes. But uh, I unfortunately, I don't have the time basically to do that. Oh, combat in ballroom is turn-based. I know how combat works. Who are we fighting though? That'll be that phone over there. So do we have an arrow? Do we have arrows? Let me look at my inventory. I do have an arrow, an unbalanced bow. The thing about that though is that it's quite tricky to hit it. So let's move in. Hmm, yeah, we need... Okay, yeah, they're coming to me. They're coming... Let's pick this thing here. Can I pick this thing? Yeah, okay. So let's kill that thing over there. That deer. Oh, it's too far away. No! Kill it. Oh, still too far away. Man, you you are crap at shooting. Oh, I'm trying to... No. Shoot with that thing, man. Oh, that's a right click. My bad. My bad. You need to right click and uh, left click will melee them. As you can see, I'm quite proficient at shooting, which is a good thing. Because I'm quite dexterous. So let's take these sunberries over here. I'm gonna move out of combat very, very soon. Oh, they're not attacking me anymore. Interesting. Oh, they are now. They are. So basically, combat works like, well, old school roguelikes. Uh, where you basically, each time you move, they get their turn. It's like automated, turn-based. Um, and it works very, very well. I am satisfied with how it works. And, uh, ooh. You could died a few years ago. How did he die? I should ask Grandpa. Yes. And that, what you saw there, jumping there, is a new quest. <laughs> that's how that's how the game tells you that we got a new quest. So let's look around a little bit more. Oh, down here. Yeah, I don't want to go down there right now. Because there are spiders, and spiders are mean. And they shoot nasty stuff at me, so I don't want to go there. Something is moving in my backpack. It's Jerry! A hungry bug. And all you need to do is just click it, and it will go away. But he won't die. It's fine. That bug is okay. It's, it's okay. You just click it, and you just want some company. You just want, hello, I'm Jerry. Yeah, that name, I don't know why I said that name, though. Let's, is this a grave? Whatever it is, it's, it doesn't have anything in there. So, yeah, you want to focus on life plants and all that sort of stuff, because this will heal you. This will make you able to uh, craft. Is, what is this? That's a little bit of rock. Oh, we got a couple of eggs, did we? It's pretty cool. Did we get? Where the hell's the eggs? I don't see where we got. Oh, maybe, oh, it's down here. It's materials. Yeah, uh, my bad. Yeah, we got stone, not eggs. We got stone. So let's ask Grandpa about Hugo and how he died. Grandpa's over there. By the way, if you press Alt, it just toggles the, um, you know, the, the subtitles. So that's a cool thing as well. So how did Hugo die, Grandpa? Why are you asking, son? 
It was a horrible accident a long time ago. Yeah, I just near the graveyard and I remember that Hugo fell into the well he and the other workers were digging out. And if I remember correctly, he fell, fell into it in the middle of the night. Am I remembering things correctly, Grandpa? Yes, son. Your memory serves you well. That poor Hugo did die an, at night. He was the only friend of Cardew. The two of them were close, and Cardew was in a much healthier state when Hugo was alive. How could he fall into the well he was working on? Now that I think of it, it's really strange, isn't it? At the time he died, we didn't even think about how it happened. Everyone knew he liked to drink and thought he was drunk when he fell in. But you're right. It is strange. I guess we'll never really know. I guess maybe we will. Because I don't know where this game will take me. Uh, yeah, I think I should ask around about Hugo. Who should I ask? Well, Hugo was a popular fellow, but the only real friends he had were Cardew and the innkeeper, Fred. Okay, I'll ask them about his death. Do as you wish, son. Be careful with Fred. He can be a bit emotional, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got a little bit of experience as well, which is very, very nice. Uh, you can, basically, right here, that's uh, Grandpa's garden. And you can take, uh, you can take, ooh, that's a grown one. You can take those, you can harvest them. Uh, and y you can see the, the different states. L later on, we're gonna play with them. I'm gonna take whatever, because, yeah, Grandpa doesn't really mind. He's fine. I don't think they work. I don't think they mind actually. I, I might be wrong on that one. I hope I'm wrong actually, but uh, for right now, I'm just gonna act as everything is mine because that's fine. And over here, we got uh, the oven and we can cook stuff. Basically, it doesn't really look like an oven, it looks like a big pot, but whatever. Down here, who do we have? Was that Ida? That's right. Okay, let me drink a little bit more. Each chance you get, you should, should just drink because why not? It's free. Hydration and you fill up your stuff and all that. So let's talk with Cardio. I seem to remember it was over here No, that's not Cardio's house You can see large deposits of uh, Iron and not iron but stone you can mine that later if you want to build a stone house We're gonna build a wood house at, the f at first and then we're gonna expand I'm not really sure what the house is good for if it's just you know a mini game sort of thing, but um, So is anybody around here? Nope Actually, let me look at the map. So the map doesn't really tell me much. We know where Brown is. We know that we those are uh, ruins that we have discovered with Dudley, or D Dudley, or whatever. Uh, Edith over there. Yeah, these guys. They're all over the place. They are all over the place. Actually, explore. Oh, what is that? I saw that something. You saw that move? Yeah, that's something over there. And what is that? What did I just find? That would be. That would be Osric's chicken. Yeah, that's a, for a quest, by the way. So you need to be careful because every time you see something like a glint of um, light or something of the sort, or something move where it shouldn't, yeah, you need to check that out because uh, it probably is something that you want to look at and want to take with you. Probably uh, could be treasure, could be a chicken, but uh, yeah, Edric's chicken. He's got is somewhere around here. I'm not gonna. I'm looking for. I'm looking for Curdew though. If I don't find it, is it Curdew? I don't remember his name though anymore. Uh, Jones over there. Hey, Jones, isn't he the carpenter? I think he is. I think he's. Oh, actually, I think that's Jones's house. Selena, no. We're close though. We should be close. Let's have a chat here with Jones and see what he has to say. Jones is a decent man. He's a carpenter. He lives with his wife Selena and their son Philip. People talk behind his back because he never goes to the inn. I say he doesn't need to, since he has a wonderful wife and usually has something to repair or build. He taught me how to create sturdy walls and how to make simple furniture. Yeah, we need some knobs and uh, yeah. I'm looking for, oh no, actually, uh, yeah. I, our home almost burned down, Grandpa, is fine, but I need to repair the damage up to the house. I'll need to create a small cupboard because the one we had burnt to the ashes. To the ash, to ashes. How could that happen? Two houses in the village caught fire on the same day? Your old man is a tough one. He can handle a little fire. You know how to build a cupboard. I've already taught you. You can buy wood from me, but we live in a forest, so you can chop down a few trees, and that's free. Please, please, please don't tell Selena I told you to chop down trees instead of buying them from me, though. Thanks. Thank you, Jones. I won't tell Selena. Uh, when can we continue our lessons? Any time, boy. You are a good student. Next time, I'll show you how to build a sturdy, uh, build sturdy chairs and tables. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, I uh, is there a recipe you can teach me? Yes, there is. I am gonna need to pay, though. Mm, I think. Do I need to pay? I think I do need to pay. Let's see, we can build... Um, yeah, I can pay. Let's see... Yeah, there we go. Hammer and a saw. We're gonna need those for later, I don't think. There's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff. Wine barrels and all that. Mm, nice stuff. We're not gonna... Yeah, I'm not really sure how that's gonna go. Hey, Jones, don't go away, man. I need to talk to you about something else. Um, yeah, oh, I need... Yeah, I need to uh, look at his inventory. So I'm gonna need to buy... 
What is that? Food? Yeah, those are the things. Uh, oh, that's his inventory. My bad. Uh, so I need a doorknob. I think I need a single one. Or handle. Yes, that's what I need. Some nails, probably. Although I can get them for free, I think. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But for right now, let me just keep talking to him. Because I'm looking for work zones. Do you need help with anything? I need to prepare wood for the winter. I wanted to mark some trees I would like to chop down today. If you're really looking for work, look no further. Chopping down trees and then bringing them home is real hard work. It'll take you. It'll make you strong, if nothing else. I can give you a few th thalers if you bring me ten pieces of pine. What can I find pine? You'll find a bunch south here. You won't miss them. I'll bring you the wood, Jones. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure you bring plenty of water with you. Hard work will dry your body out fast, and it might be a good idea to pack some good, some food too. Yeah, that's 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 how the game plays. Uh, so, do you know anything about the disappearances and the fires? Only that what you already know, boy. Aaron might not be as good as a blacksmith as he as he think he is. I well, it's said that Edwig from the other village is a much better master than Aaron. My torches are from Edwig, and I have no reason to complain about them. I didn't know the packs very well. The only thing I know about them is what they is that they are decent folk. A shame that bad things always seem to happen to good people. Hmm. Yeah. So they are convinced that it's the torches, but of course it's not. We know it's not. So that is that. I uh. I don't need to repair my items. I'm good. I'm totally good. I'm I'm gonna take a look at uh, the Pax's house. Oh, what is? Th Usually there are old letters or documents inside these white bags. What are white bags? What are you talking about right now? Oh. Hmm. I don't know what that was, but that's fine. That's a hot house, by the way, I think. It's what it's called. Cardio is over there. Let's have a chat with him. So you see, you saw that? I was clicking and moving very, very weirdly. Yeah, I honestly prefer the WASD keys to uh, to move around because it's just better. It's a little bit confusing sometimes because you, uh, you need to press two of them at the same time, but it's okay. Hey, Cardio. Hey, man. Wait a minute. Don't go away. Cardio is a the friendly village idiot. He's a decent fellow, but I would never trust him with anything. He forgets things that happen to him pretty quickly. If you remember something, he's certain to remember it incorrectly. He has trouble sleeping. Hey, what happened to your ring, Cardio? Reese, he stole my ring. He stole my ring. He stole my ring. Calm down, Cardio. Why, why do you think, why do you think Reese stole your ring? I told him my ring is valuable. It's blue, you know. And he took it from you. He stole my ring. He stole my ring. He stole my ring. I will talk to Riz about your ring then. Uh, what do you know about Hugo's death card, you? Oh, that that might yeah, that might be a bad a bad course of action. I wanted to ask you the, uh, ask him the other thing because he's gonna be sad now, poor guy. Hugo is my best friend. Yes, I know Cardio, but Hugo is no longer with us. Do you remember how he died? Hugo died because of the deep well. It was the well that caused him trouble. I hate the well. What do you mean? The well got him in trouble? Do you mean he died because of something connected to the well? Leave me, leave me alone, you, you are not Hugo. I'm sorry, Cardio. Uh, have you seen or heard anything, Cardio? I know, I know, what do you know? What, speak? The the smoked pork sausage, sausage in my is my favorite. Osric never gives me one. Where did I put the deer leg? Have you seen my juicy deer leg? No, Cardio, I have not seen your food. Think, Cardio, do you, uh, do you know anything about the disappearance of the Pax? Pax? Your neighbors, Pax, Frida and Audrey. Audrey? Audrey? Did I say Audrey? Or so? I don't know. We play hide and seek sometimes. She might have my deer leg. Please, Cardio, try to focus. They are missing and their house was has burned down. Have you seen anything suspicious? Do you want to play hide and seek with me? But where is my deer leg? Please tell Audie to bring back my deer leg. Yeah, well, take care, Cardio. Man, this guy. This guy. Yeah, he, he, he's a good guy. As, as the game told, or as my character said, he's a good guy. But I think we are about out of time for the day. So, that's time to say goodbye for now. We have a lot of stuff to explore, and we have a burned down house over there. But for now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Ballroom. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to my channel for lots of RPG goodness, and other stuff that I play as well, but above all, above everything else, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.